Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I'm going to bring you BPAL Picks Edition. Remember BPAL Picks? It's the finest patron in the Patreon in the land. I'll send the link down in the in the uh, description there. You can go check it out. We uh, <coughs> last night's picks uh, or tonight's picks? Eh. Break even ish. Um, honestly, I was I had one of the busiest day. I couldn't even I could barely get a nap in today. I got I was busy, and I should know that when I'm busy like that, I don't have time to get my nap in, extra nap, my couple naps, whatever you need. Fourteen naps a day is what I recommend if you can get them in. Yep. People ask me how I do that. It takes practice like anything else. You know what I mean? Commitment. Commitment is what it takes. Okay. Um, so when I don't do that, I shouldn't do picks. I should just blah. Because we'll look at them. We're going to look at them later. But uh, there's only five games tonight. Uh, and, yeah, there's only five games tonight. Was there? Yes, and then we'll look at the games. One of them's going on right now. And uh, I hate it when you look at things and then it comes back to you and go, I should have did that. I'm bordering on having to go to Perla's house to spank in here. That's how bordering. I might lose some money today. A little bit. Uh, we might. Patrons might. I don't know if they... I got my picks in late, though. Uh, hopefully they didn't grab them because they're not that great. And when I think about them, I go, why? Why, why, why were you thinking that way? Really? You know? You do that sometimes? Okay, let's look at uh, let's look at some of our fine uh, commenters, shall we? Uh, I, was, I had Peyton on the radio on my show today. I have a show from 3 to 5 on this channel, five days a week. Tomorrow, Friday, we're going to be doing all the picks for Friday and Saturday. And what do you do is you give me the scores in your picks, and the winner, the winner can be thought of as the finest in the land, and uh, also can dare me to do something for a month, and uh, gets virtual swag, pearls of wisdom necklace, like I send out to you guys when you subscribe to the channel. That's awesome when you do that. It makes me all soft and squishy on the insides when you do that. Hockey, um, Hot Take Hockey, he did a, lo a raid on Peyton on the radio's uh, Edmonton Oilers play-by-play uh, -play feed the other night. Freaking awesome, dude. You're awesome. I know who you all know who Hot Take Hockey is. If you don't, go. Go subscribe to him. He just hit 30,000 subscribers. He is such a great guy. Awesome dude. Okay. Now we're going to look at, oh, here, not that, this. Okay. So Doug Reed is one of the finest in the land. Doug Reed. Here's some pearls for you, Doug Reed. Wow. I don't get you. Okay. Uh, some great insight and some good spots tonight. Oh, thanks. That's Pretty cool. He didn't really have the greatest night, but oh yes, we were talking about. He asked me before to wear a wig, and I was thinking a Bob Ross wig. I'm gonna have to look that up, see if I can find one, and uh, I'll try to get it on uh, Amazon. Make sure you use a brush. Get a little paintbrush. I'll do a Bob Ross video. Do you, if you know who Bob Ross is, look him up. He's a Canadian painter guy that became like a cult hero. <laughs> he he's so funny. You just gotta watch him. He was, oh, just you know, if life is is getting you down, just throw some birds on it. Just throw some birds. Everything will be fine. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, Real Chosen said he sold me Blackhawks. Okay, Real Chosen. The Predators were up four one. Sorrows crap the bed. Couldn't stop anything above his shoulders. Okay, but still. You did say Blackhawks. I'm wrong. You're right. Sorry. John Weichel says hi. Hi, Weichel. How you doing? He goes on my live show all the time. John is one of the finest in the land. 
And then Overseer said, uh, per, for whatever reason, I don't know. I asked him and he never got back to me. He just wanted to say per. Okay, <laughs> let's go to our picks. Picks, picks. Oh, and do this. What these guys are doing. Be, be a, the real chosen one in a Doug Reed. Ronald Sanders saying good morning. Every morning he says good morning. At 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't know where he's from. You should tell me in the comment section where you're from. Picks for tomorrow. Okay. Or, well, yeah, that's tonight. No, we want tomorrow. Okay, let's refresh, see if we can get a few more odds in here. Yeah, we can. Okay, we got Boston versus Buffalo. And uh, this is a back-to-back. -back. Rask will be in net. And the goaltender that will be in net for Buffalo I, don't, I can't even say his name, and I usually can. I'm pretty good with names, and I'm pretty good with, uh, where the heck is it? Stay right here. Taka Luk oh, Lukanen. It's not that hard. Taka Lukanen. Don't know much about him. I'm going to have to check it out, but I don't think he's better than Rask. Pretty sure not. So I'll be taking Boston, at least in a reg. The question will be over or under. Uh... I'm going to have to go under. I just don't think Buffalo is going to score enough on Rask. Pretty fair assessment, right? Uh, to put it over. Now, he, we this Lukanen kid. Have we noticed this year, though, that all the rookies that come in when they play light it up their first two or three games at least? And in the case of uh, uh, Swayman, who played la tonight, which is the 21st. 20, is it the 21st? I should remember this. 22nd today. Tomorrow's the 23rd. Yeah. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, right. Um, yeah, they couldn't get... Swayman played really well. So I just lost my whole train of thought thinking of the date. That's how easy it is for me to lose my train of thought. I'm taking Boston. Probably PL. I'll think about it more. I don't like doing PLs and unders, though, you know? Because you're thinking that they're going to win by two, but you don't think they're going to score very much. However, if you don't think the other team's going to score at all, it's not a bad play. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Philadelphia versus the Rangers. Now, this one will be interesting. Lion is in net. For Philadelphia and I have not seen him play well yet doesn't get to play very often I haven't seen him play very well yet I imagine it will be Gorgiev uh, for the Rangers I'm going to go Rangers and although Philadelphia has been playing a very a trappy type game lately uh, I think they should get enough on Lyon um, but they are. Philadelphia's kind of went to the a trap game. What's the six, eh? Yeah. Gorgiev. I'm on the fence on that. I'll say over for now. Over for now. If you go over to Patreon, though, which, um, by the way, I this will be my last video of the week. Probably. I might do. Yeah. No, it's probably, I may do one tomorrow. I, I don't know. We'll see. Usually I don't do them on the weekends though. So if you want my weekend picks, go to my Patreon, which will be in the description and join the frolic there. I have the $25 a month tier and I'll give it to you for free for a month for the, well, probably a month and a bit now. I'll give you this month and next month. Just remind me, please remind me I'm a very busy person. Huh. You got 14 naps a day to get in, man. I don't really much time to remember that I gotta just remind me on the thing. Just say, hey, got a free month. If I don't do it, I usually do. Nashville versus Chicago. Um, you think Nashville's not going to crap the bet again? Uh, I hear it's saying so bad. What happened to uh, Lankanen? Are they injured? Is he injured and they're not telling us about it or what? Subban, again, not confirmed, but why wouldn't it be Lankanen? I don't know. 
Uh, very odd thing there. Um, Subban, he's not a great goaltender. I don't think they're going to crap the bed again. I'm going Nashville. And uh, I'm going over. Over five and a half. And Nashville money line. What's the total? Yeah, they're giving you, you got more juice on the over. Okay. Montreal versus Calgary. I'm going to take Montreal. I don't trust Calgary. It's been, they, Montreal's been on the road for a while, though. I will go under here, but it's probably going to be Markstrom against Allen. Markstrom hasn't been playing very well. Um, yeah. Montreal, money line, and under for that one. Minnesota versus Los Angeles. I got to go Minnesota here. And I got to go the over. Quick is supposed to be a net. I don't know what's going on with Peterson, but if Quick is a net and Talbot's back again, Talbot's crushing it right now. Uh, the only problem is maybe LA can't score enough in this one. But um, I think they'll pot one or two at least. And Minnesota can pot like seven. They're playing so well. Los Angeles is going to have a good team. They don't have one yet. Minnesota's got a slamming team. Uh, yeah, Minnesota over Los Angeles. I'm just going to, am I going to go in reg? It's in reg that. Let's bring that up to a 190, somewhere around there. And uh, over. Okay, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. That's all I have to give to you today. Uh, where am I? Let me see you again. There we go. So, have a great day. Go come see my show. That would be awesome. Three to five. The NHL per Perlow's NHL Pearls of Wisdom. The NHL Pearls of Wisdom show. That's what it's called. I don't even know the name of my own show. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.